Yeah, hi guys, and this new initiative is really all about increasing availability and access to the oral COVID-19 antiviral treatment pill known as Paxlovid, which once was very hard to get and is now very widely available. It's technically called test and treat. Long gone are the days of mass vaccination and testing clinics, which makes local community access to COVID treatment all the more important. This is a way to take more pressure off of the rest of the healthcare system. Bypassing your primary care physician. Pharmacists are, are trained and ready to do this. The FDA saying in a statement, quote, since Paxlovid must be taken within five days after symptoms begin, authorizing state licensed pharmacists to prescribe Paxlovid could expand access to timely treatment. It makes it easy for people, especially people with not a lot of time or, you know, can't make it into either hospital or primary care physician to just, you know, come here and take, get it taken care of. And while small independent pharmacies may have a hard time standing up the logistical infrastructure to participate, pharmacy giant CVS says they'll be a player in more than 9,000 locations. Over this past summer, I had COVID. Um, my whole family did. So my 21st birthday was shucked too, and I wish I had, you know, a treatment for something and wasn't just in bed for a week. Specifically, the way it'll work is if you get COVID, you'll log on to a pharmacy's digital platform, fill out a questionnaire, be seen virtually by a pharmacist who can get you your medication in just a few hours. It also requires for pharmacists to um, have access to uh, 12 months of, of lab work or blood work. And here in Connecticut, we have about 6,000 pharmacists across the state and about 700 pharmacies. Now, during the height of COVID, the workforce, as far as pharmacists goes, certainly did decline. But the Connecticut Pharmacy Association told me that we're very lucky here in the state because we have a workforce pipeline with some of the local colleges like UConn and the University of St. Joseph. We're live here in Wethersfield. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.